gotta hold out. You gotta try it. <laughs> like you're gonna like rev like great. This is awesome. It's a really it's gorgeous. Time. I'm glad you bought this bike. <laughs> Hello. You see it coming? I see it. It's right there. I see it, yeah. It's the eye. Is it German? It sees all. They look crazy, these Germans. Yeah, they are. So after the trip, he had so much to tell me, and the photos, and the friendships, and details of the orphanage, and, and that his writing improved, and now what I'm saying is his love for writing is, I, it was big before, but now it's a little out of control. <laughs> We're <laughs> where we're talking about the next bike, the next adventure. It's not. It's not a question of um, where is he going to go next. It's a question of where am I not going to go, right? And I have a feeling the film only portrayed a fraction of the emotions you guys went through. Just guessing. Um, it did show a little bit of the stress and all that, and it showed a few drop bikes, but. Judging by the number of days and the terrain I saw, I'm guessing the number of dropped bikes was vastly more than was portrayed in the film, and the emotional challenge of getting through that kind of experience is probably just as challenging. I definitely had motorbike withdrawals. It, uh, it kind of, Madagascar just got under my skin. It was kind of, I think it captured all of our, our hearts a little bit. So to go back home to day-to-day -day life, it, yeah, it sucked a little. I'd much rather still have been in Madagascar, still been with everyone. Well, you see, I was in touch with Gunther, which was supposed to be my rival, but in the end, I felt glad that he went, because it was so tough with those huge bikes, like, this is the kind of size of bike I like. So I'm sure I would have been in a lot of trouble there, as everyone was. But at the same time, I missed sharing that experience with you guys, so it's the only thing I resent, that I wasn't there you know, uh, being part of it all. When I was in the selection uh, in, February, in February, I thought I would, you know, gladly give my position or give the opportunity to my comp competing uh, friend, July, you know, from India. And I was, I was sad, but I was happy uh, about, about it. I didn't get selected. But uh, last night, when I saw the movie, I, I, I noticed that I was wrong. I would have to go there, you know. I wanted to experience the real thing in Madagascar. I would do with yeah. the same bike. Lighter bikes? But I would prefer to do with a lighter bike. But same same amount of rain, you would take it on? Oh yeah. I would take a wetsuit instead of the Companero. And... <laughs> She paints, and I said it would be really nice if you if you painted some portraits for me of Herbert Ramona. But I said you've got to do it in Touratech colours. So there's Ramona. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, I thought something also, but not as not as good as that. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if uh, if you guys know, but I am a guitar player. So I just, I wrote a song. No, I just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I decided to, you guys have so many cool things uh, hanging around the factory and in your house and I decided maybe I would make a United oh, wow. People of Adventure guitar wow. to be hanging on the wall and they have this picture that we took in Capes and um, maybe I brought a little uh, special sharpie that we can write so maybe we'll have all of us write something on the back tomorrow, i leave this here I'll leave this maybe into, into uh, the uh, dining room downstairs and everybody can write something and uh, 
And uh, if they if the boys want to learn to play guitar, that's great. But you may want to display this on the wall somewhere. <laughs> Maybe put it in the bathroom, I don't know, whatever you like. <laughs> so, so that's a little gift for you guys. It's a very nice gift. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.